action. Oh, hello everybody and welcome to the Curly Cooks of Croydon. God, we should be standing that way so we can see the garden. Yeah, look how beautiful. Mark, that's all Mark from Nanny Dye's work there. Check out our um, Green Fingered Hell on the channel where you'll find out how this went from a shit hole this beautiful garden so it is a pre-record today that is because it's mark and mine's 20th wedding anniversary 21st is it, it must be because maddie's 21 this year mm -hmm. and i was pregnant at the wedding so i should be able to tell her yeah, it oh it's 21 out. years yeah at 21 years <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for some. Did you hear her? She got dumped at 21 years. That's funny. So anyway, so we thought we would do one of Mark's favourite yummy things to eat. So Mark, tell us why this is one of your favourite. Tell us what it is and why you love it. So this is Jamaican jerk chicken. Is that what you're making? Jerk yes. chicken sweet. and sweet yes. corn. So this is where I grew up in Labrick Grove as a kid. Uh, my mum was a single parent, uh, we grew up in the heart of the uh, West Indian community, Jamaican community. It was a very, very heavily uh, sort of West Indian, you know, area. It still is, but it really, really was then. It wasn't this kind of like Notting Hill kind of thing that we all think of now. Not but gentrified. Not gentrified. Um, but my childminder, I had a childminder for two nights a week um, and at the beginning of, the, of each week. Tony, lovely Tony, and whose daughter Justine, who follows me on Instagram. So oh, Justine, that's nice. hello, uh, lovely Tony, bless, bless her soul. She passed away last year. Was it last year or the year before? Um, and she used to. She was such a character. She used to make lots and lots of uh, West Indian food. And so I remember jerk chicken being absolutely sensational. One of, One of my favorites, so tasty, carnival, you'd see all of the kind of, you know, all of the kind of street stalls, all of the kind of, well, they're sort of oil drums, you know, cooking food, barbecue and all that kind of stuff. She'd make, um, she'd make curry goat with rice and pea. She'd do roti, she'd do ackee and salt fish and she did a particular kind of pudding, quite a sophisticated complex pudding, which I'm actually quite masterful at, which I remember, which I'm going to show you all later. Oh. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Yeah, we don't it, know. For me, it was just so tasty. Yeah, we don't actually know what Mark's doing for the pudding. He's doing a surprise because it's our anniversary. And um, so that will be coming later. But you forgot plantain. Plantain! Plantain! Because <laughs> whenever favorites. we've ordered, um, yeah. West Indian food, you've always been really annoyed if the plantain doesn't oh come well God. done. Oh my God, and it has to so, be insipid for me. Insipid? It has to be a little bit, it can't be hard. Yeah, plantain, has to be soft, it has to be right. crisps are horrible. has to be right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to make the marinade. We wanted the chicken up and cooking, so we've done this prepared earlier. We wanted a nice finished dish and there won't be enough time. So Dina got it, explain what you did to the barbecue first, because she's the barbecue cook. Queen. Ah, so you need to get your coals going like 20 minutes before and get them nice and hot with a and with a with a white. And Nadi's like, oh, it's too it's too hot, it's too hot. But that's how you get that barbecue flavour first, and then the heat goes down and it cooks in in the middle. So hopefully. And then close the lid. Yeah. So shall I put those in the oven? Yeah, just to make sure they're in the middle. Mm. You're quite serious today. Are we? Quite professional. I'm very professional. We had a bit of a funny weekend. Yeah, we did. As we all remember. Yeah. We're all a bit still you know shell shocked. What? You know what? I get strength. Given that this is a, a pre record, we could almost now go to a flashback. You know, like in Vietnam yeah. films? Yeah. You see the slow mo. Yeah. And you see the trauma. Yeah. And the lights. Yeah, I, I am having. I've got PDS, TTT, whatever that word is. <laughs> yeah. I've definitely got it. Yeah, it's quite something, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, are they nicely right? That's oh. a perfect right. Pass. That, that is the part. We're not discussing plantain yet. First, oh. are we doing my. Yes, I'm going back out here. So, we're doing just a little dessert. So, we've got the family coming over. They're going to eat everything that we've made today. And um, I don't really know what Mark's dessert is. So, I thought I'd make a little a little extra something just in case his is too rich or too fancy for everybody. Oh my God. So here I've got 150 grams of desiccated coconut because I'm making little coconut pyramids. Mm. I'm going to give it a little Caribbean twist with some lime juice. So I've got, uh, did I say how much I've got? I can't remember. 
Okay. <laughs> I can't remember how much coconut I've got. I'll look it up. Desiccated, though. Yeah, desiccated coconut. Sounds so bad, doesn't it? Desiccation. 150 grams. 40 grams. No, 80 grams of icing sugar. I'm going to have to look this up. I can't remember what I did. And four teaspoons of corn flour. So easy, this. You'll remember this from being kid. Two uh, egg whites. And give it a stir. Mm. Are you making roti? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not making roti. Oh, dark and rice. actually, and actually, yeah, that's in the jerk. Where I got the recipe for the jerk chicken, because I didn't want to mess up, was from the Jamaican cultural um, food website. Oh, wow. So if you want to check out the um, recipe, go to there. Let's give them some traffic. To over there. Well, where are we going? Where, where to? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. The Jamaican food. I'll, 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 we'll put, oh, the, we'll put, oh, we'll put the link underneath. Jamaican cultural food website, but we'll put the link. So um, I'm just going to put a little bit of lime to make it a little. What a shame we can't play music now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my God. And what a shame we're being so good that we can't have a rum cocktail while we're doing this. That's what? Uh, just trying to be really I good. I was bank holiday yesterday. I was a little bit. I didn't have anything yesterday. Yeah. I was good. Like when we came out of the Kirk Cooks in Scotland, yeah. we'd been on our feet, we'd been flipping knackered, and I was like, oh, I need a drink. She went, oh, would you? I was like, yes. Gotta have a glass of champagne to celebrate. Yeah, but yeah. I think I was so tired that I thought, what I'll do is just go to sleep. Yeah. That was the problem. Yeah. And look how easy that is. That is our oh, pyramid. Oh, I love macaroons. Hang on, was that just coconut milk and coconut? Coconut, corn flour, um, icing sugar and egg whites. Oh, so I can't eat it. Ah. So, wet your hands. Okay. Because that will help um, the Handling. help you not to get your coconut stuck. <laughs> There's a better way to say that sentence. So, non-stick pan. And... Um, I've got my oven on at 170 and just make the little pyramids. Mm. Uh, how many do we want? It's as simple as that. The other weird thing I, I vividly remember having my first experience of, and I will never forget it, was when Tony handed me half an avocado. And it was your and first said, day. eat your pear. And I was like, Okay, and then I started <laughs> to eat, and I went, huh, it doesn't taste of pear. Oh, how funny. And you'd never had an avocado never had before. I couldn't even begin to comprehend this God. smooth, textury thing. Well, we were going to make avocado, but uh, like a avocado thing, but Dina's, we've got sweet corn, and Dina's doing her gorgeous coleslaw, mm. and we've got the rice and peas that Dina makes quite a lot, actually. So we thought it's a bit overkill. You know what I find? I find the flavours and the food, it's because of association. It's because of... Yeah, quality. happy memories. And it's because of the larger-than-life personalities that looked after me. I just associate... Well, and with... also, that was the only place you got home-cooked food. Well, yeah. Because yes. your mum never cooked Absolutely any food. true. So, so for me, I everything was delicious. It was really bright and fun and kind of lively kind of, you know, memory. And go... that is the very, very difficult thing about cooking for someone via their memory yeah. because oh, yeah. it will never taste as good because you haven't got the human element so everything that you're talking about yes. to be taken from a really bland you know you know cod in a bag which is what you used to get as a kid to something as delicious as that we would never be able to equal that no. okay so i'm going to put a cherry on the top just because it's our anniversary and mark loves a cherry Oh, they should be nice. Yeah, and they look like boobs. Eee, they win. do. <laughs> Boobalicious. Boobalicious. So, easy, so easy to make, aren't they? Get the kids to make them. You know what I saw this morning, Dina? What? Toffee was waiting at the back door. And yeah. I went to let her out, and in her mouth was a pair of knickers. Oh, no. Oh, for God's a sake. pair of expensive knickers. So, look, just a little tip. <laughs> As you put your cherry on, just little hold, tip. just hold, hold, oh, sorry. Just hold together hold your pyramid, you, so because if you just squish it into the middle, it's going to collapse. Hold your tip so for a little tip. Flatten it, put it in. Should be about 12 to 15 minutes. That's much bigger, that one. Then it goes. Au revoir. Oh, wow. Wow, Fantastic.
Oh, I'm not going to look at what's in the bottom shelf. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. It looks so good. Do I need to keep mine on the barbecue? Um, well, you can go and have a little look at it. I've got all the like, the breasts off, really. Mm. Um, have you marinated your chicken? Where am I going? Oh, you're okay. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. What chicken? Are you showing them how to? Have you shown them how to make the marinade? No. Ah, oh, okay. Huh? I'll start over here then. Okay. okay. So to go with this is rice and peas. Ah, Did you like that? Rice and peas? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So in here we've just got some vegan butter, half an onion and two cloves of garlic. Mm. Um, I'm going to add two cups of rice. It's just so simple, but it's just so tasty. Mm. It's just so good. And um, I'm going to use this very lovely, the best jerk seasoning. See, yeah. I remember Do you remember Dunn's? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember rice and pea was always, I mean, we'd have it with curry goat. Curry goat, yeah. But it would always have, there would always be a bit of a coagulation in the rice, so it was a bit, not crunchy, but it was a bit oh. gloopy, oh. sticky. Yeah, that's, the gloopiness nice. is going to come from yeah. um, the coconut milk. Magic, could I have some dried thyme, please? It's so funny, I want you to come back. Yeah. Well, I do hope it doesn't disappoint. Um, Bit of time. It was very, very odd because, of course, way back then, um, you know that movie, The Jerk, that stars Steve Martin, and he's oh, a yeah. white, white man yeah. brought up in a black family. Yeah. I was like the only white kid in amongst these yeah. friends, so I'd hang out at the local barbers with all the, uh, you know, the, the old guys playing dominoes. I'd go to Boys Brigade, and there'd be the clacking sound of them. And they'd always just look at me like, who's this kid? Who's this strange white kid in amongst us? But, you know, it was just... So that was a little handful of thyme, a teaspoon of jerk seasoning, um, which is... Do you need more rice? No, it's two cups. It's plenty, absolutely plenty. Um, two cups of veggie stock. Ooh. Oh, that little lump on in. And a tin, a whole tin of coconut oh, milk. Smell. Is that full fat one? This is like... Do you want full fat? No. Premium. I think it'll be all right. Yeah, lovely. And then your black eyed peas. Yeah, oh. the salt in. Yeah. Oh, uh, I've always done it with kidney beans. You can, oh. but this is traditional, isn't it, Mark? Mm. Yeah. And that is it. Just bring it to the boil and simmer on down. I'm just wondering if I should do some plain rice for Kiki. <laughs> ah, she hates beans. I never liked the salt fish. Oh, I didn't. I don't food. like selfish, but that's a whole thing of yeah. the whole of the world has got dried fish, yes. except for us. We've got, well, I suppose we've got kippers. Yeah. But they're, yeah, they're, 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 they're dried, but that, that, Imagine when I'm not being used to eating a kipper and then eating a kipper, you'd be like, what is it? I know, but when I lived in Italy, um, they have that, the, the dried cod is so salty. And then they soak it and they put it in a in pasta and it's just oh, like my absolute good. worst dish. Do we have to have that kettle on? Just for two seconds. <laughs> so let's show you how. Sorry, I'm just drawn to the plantain. How we pre prepped the meat. Obviously, it's all cooked already. So really, legs and thighs are best. Um, because they don't dry out. But I mean, they, they, those breasts won't be dry. Just try and get breasts with skin on. And if you can get breasts with skin and bone on, even better, because they're not going to get as dry. So open out. And then slash the meat so that the spices can get deep into the meat. Really, if you can marinate overnight or a couple of days, the better. It's really annoying. I didn't. I couldn't. I did it today. Ours, they won't have ne had nearly enough long, nearly long enough marinade. And the longer you marinate, the softer the meat is, and the quicker it cooks on the barbecue. So then I also put some slashes the other side. Just stepping back, guys, in case you're a little bit squeamish. And the other thing I do is I just cut round the bone a bit, like that. And then you, it, you know it's going to be cooked in the middle. It's just quite a good tip for a barbecue. Just cut down the side of the bone like that and then open the meat out. Okay? It's all very calm. Do you do that, do you do that Dina? Do you, uh, do, you, do you cut it down by the side of the bone? She doesn't eat meat. No, but she cooks meat. Uh, no. 
No, it's a really good tip. Trust me. Top tip from the top, top chef. Tip. Yeah. Top tip. I'm not showing it too much place. Oh, Gigi, Gigi. you know you want some. Just wash my hands. Look, there's the shot of the chicken. See, wash your right. hands. So then, and I did this with the breast as well. I then bashed, bashed it down flat because everything is about trying to get, you know, we want that meat to cook and not be raw in the middle. So just, just with something heavy and good, Gigi, just bashed it down like that. And voila. And then I made my marinade, which I'm going to show you how to make now. Sorry. 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 Right. So straight into a blender. It's all whizzy whizzy. Straight into a blender. Now oh, this I'm is. I'm going to need that. What for? The nuts. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. It's all right. I'll, I'll wash it up. Do you want to do the nuts first? Uh, do the nuts no, now. No, 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 no. no. Do the nuts first. now. No, no. Do I don't need them. It doesn't make any difference because I've already cooked the chicken. Uh, Yella. No, no, just do it. Mm. Just do it. But then you might have a bit of a flavour of jerk. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. It's going in the mac, mac and cheese. All right. So pleased to sort that out. <laughs> Jesus, that was quite stressful for you. Yeah, then. sorry. Sorry. Right, so as I said, the recipe was from the Jamaican Food and Cultural Centre, which I will put the link to. I, I, I reduced things a little bit because it like had two tablespoons of salt, which I mean I like my salt, but even for me that was a bit much. I like um, so much footage of Nadia peeling onions. <laughs> and I, I mean, it's probably the most, in fact, I've got so much footage of Nigel Slater peeling onions as well. Yeah, it's a big thing, onions. Um, it's so easy, this. And the other thing that I changed was I've added rum. Because Dean always puts rum in hers and she said it's really nice. So just see how easy it is to make this marinade. It's fantastic. It really softens the meat, but I think that was what was making the barbecue flame. It wasn't the fat. You sure? Because it's got yeah. olive oil in. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. Because we're pre-recording, I can suddenly go wide angle. Go <laughs> wide angle. <laughs> so cool. Is that rice oil? Yep. Yeah, so we've got our onion. Oh, it's a big onion. Yeah. We've got an onion that size since, I don't know, Bermuda. <laughs> Half a cup of olive oil. Mm. Um, they said in their recipe, a cup, a whole cup of orange juice. But I didn't want mine that orangey because I knew Dina would go, oh, that one orange in it. Well, I'm not eating it, am I? I know, but I thought you were going to use it for your vegetables or something. Is it so important I didn't want to it. use that bowl in another bowl? No. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, that smells very oh. nice. Yes. And then the, let's use this lime because we've already done that to it. No, I wouldn't put orange in it. When I make it for the boys, I wouldn't yeah. put you orange would. in it. Exactly. So I thought she'd disagree with that. Oh, that's not going to work. It's too small, babe. Oh, Dean, can you get me a fork? Oh. Come on, lime. Come on, lime. Oh, God, it's really making me fancy a rum and lime now. Oh, come on, have one. I lime. didn't, I, I wanted that Sainsbury's. I wanted uh, Lidl, but they didn't. I've got, uh, Aldi. Aldi. I've got Lidl white rum. I wanted um, Aldi. That's got to be dark. We one. passed a Lidl being built in Glasgow, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah. I think you should go and open it. Yeah. Yeah. Now you, you can yeah. cut ribbons. Now I can cut ribbons. <laughs> That's it. Found my, found my yeah. true vocation. Oh, that was so funny, you cutting the ribbon. Um, <laughs> Same for the vlog. So what you were saying just before cutting the ribbon. <laughs> so funny. Um, and then half, uh, don't worry, that's just herbs in the wine, uh, white wine vinegar. No soy sauce? Yeah, soy sauce. I can't remember how much it says, but as we're going to put the lid underneath. I normally put two tablespoons, Whoa. but you, All right. you're going off their recipe. Two tablespoons-ish. I'm going to put a splash of lime, a splash of brandy. I've never got into rum, actually. I mean, I love rum and raisin ice cream. Yeah. Oh, I never I love, drank rum. I love yeah, it. I oh, love if I've got rum. a bit of a sore throat or it's a cold night. Really? Oh, that rum we tried rum. at the Ideal Home with the Reaper chilli in it. Oh, oh, that was delicious. That was delicious. Was Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Nice. Do you put brown sugar in your one, Dina? Yep. And then six, or however many you want, garlic cloves, a load of black pepper. You could do this marinade for jackfruit if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. You yeah. might do something like that. No. Um, thyme, as I say, all the amounts. Everyone knows my love of jackfruit. Click on the link. Nutmeg. Cinnamon. 
Is this your jerk spice? Yeah, yeah. So that's, well, I've got the cheeks version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole oh. load of all spice. Wow. Actually, I'm going to smell it. Um, a lot of time. I was surprised by how much time there was, Dina. Oh, my rice smells nice. I don't really <laughs> think of that as a cat. Right, now, this, are the, these are the strongest, I think, one of the strongest chilies. Um, scotch bonnet. See oh, the way I'm not yes. touching it. Do now, you like that heat? Do you like that? I do, especially if you rub it on your testicles. The red, <laughs> the red and the yellow one have the same amount of heat. I was reading one today. One day, just cut up a scotch bonnet and grab him by the ghoulies. Yeah, well, <laughs> see how much he likes. The, it. the recipe you'll see when I put the, uh, if you click on the link under there, the recipe there said six scotch bonnets. Oh wow! Six. So that would have been too much for yeah, all of us. You see, I think. Oh, I think they have the most peculiar. Oh, um, I love the smell. Do you? Mm. I, I think it smells like an old biscuit tin. Yeah, it does a bit. Huh? It smells like but an it's old a very biscuit. Is it called a Scotch bonnet because it looks like a Scottish Scotch bonnet. bonnet? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it Dean, does. Like an old biscuit tin. It does. <laughs> Dina, can you um just yeah. check because that was my alarm for the ma macaroons. What it smells like, like um it smells like fake tan. <laughs> now in in the recipe that I've been following it had dried ginger. I think they're done. But I have this gorgeous, fresh, organic oh, I ginger. Oh, fresh. I was fresh. So it's, it's going to be... I mean, fresh ginger and dry ginger does give a different taste. Completely different. But that, there's ginger in this. So in this, is it all in... Ink? So coriander. there's a dried version of that. Yeah. Yeah. This has got coriander, black pepper, cayenne, pepper, pimento, ginger... Lemon, bay leaves, green bell pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, marjoram, nutmeg, wow. turmeric. Wow, or turmeric. Mm. And I'm going to put a healthy fun. dose of salt, not as much as they say in the recipe. <gasps> what and they say? Something like two tablespoons. No. Salt in a, in For a one fantastic. chicken. For one chicken. Um, oh. So we are then going to just. Jib it. Jib it. Give it a good old jib. You might want to go out and look at the chicken or yeah, something because well. it's going to be noisy. Stuff. Jib, jib, jib. Chicken's done. Uh, Chicken's done. Come over to the macaroon. Oh, oh. I think they're done, don't you? Oh, wow. Oh. They're Woo! done, wow. yeah? A bit more brown? Maybe a little. Can you twist that one round? Oh, oh, no, done. done. Yeah. I think a couple more minutes. Those cherries are going to be explosive if you oh. eat that. If you eat that straight Imagine out of there. Imagine putting one on your eyeball. Yeah. So Imagine the, putting one on your testicle. So the marinade is ready. I'm Where not going to do this now because I don't want to get my hands all chicken -y again. But what you do is you get your hands in there and you really rub the spice into the all those slashes that you made. Rub it all over. Massive. Oh, work rubber it gloves. in. Did you, did you wear rubber gloves? No, oh, earlier, chili. no. I've only got one chili in oh, there. That's our anniversary. Massage it. <laughs> <laughs> We've made boobs and massage no, it. Just, yeah. I don't know. Oh, it smells oh. so good, Mark. Smell that. Yeah, no. Oh, yes. Mm, oh, yes. And then that will go Coffee's in the fridge. Then. And that will be a couple of days. We'll, we'll have this again in a couple of days and we've got it all beautifully hey. marinated. Yeah. We'll see you. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Take it away, Dina. Take it away, Dina. Oh, 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 okay. So I am going to make a coleslaw. Did, did you have ever coleslaw? My my Caribbean friends love to have coleslaw with their. I don't um, remember it. Chicken. Oh, okay. No. So, but I've created my own version. Okay. It's not Caribbean at all, but oh. we just like coleslaw, and it's Maddie's absolute favourite. So, um, the secret ingredient. Can you pass me that plastic bag up the front? This one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Secret ingredient is, is Balinese vanilla. Balinese vanilla. So my friends import vanilla from all over the world. This is Zazu. The company's called Zazu. This is smoky and just so good. It's lovely in tomato sauces, but I'm actually going to put it into my vinaigrette. Um, so gonna Did we establish the origin of the word jerk? Am I putting this chicken into the fridge, into the oven? I think it's probably done. I, I don't know. I didn't see Oh, oh this out. is like being at the ideal home. Yeah. Yeah. This is like being at You're the ideal home. The knife doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll use this knife. Does it add chicken on it? Yeah. 
Uh, what was the origin of the word jerk? I've done it now, Jerry, I've done it. Um, something to oh, do right, with right. a Spanish word, yes, you said. It's, it's of Spanish origin, um, and it's the same derivation as the word jerky for dried meat. But, but, but... But, but apparently it's because, of course, the West Indies and everything were colonised, weren't they, by the Spaniards. It was the Spanish yeah, that came but in. but I thought jerky no, was um, I was South thinking... African. Well, Why did I think that? I just think it's the... I think they've created you, the you same mean, word from the does same Does jerky mean dried meat? I think so. But also, I read that jerk also comes from prodding and jerking the chicken um, up and down off the barbecue. Maybe. I, oh, I can't believe you didn't make a comment about that. Well, I mean, I know. <laughs> There's, one, there's, there's not enough room for more than one jerky. Comment right. below, guys, and give us the history. So the oh, sorry, ah. sorry. The whole um, the whole pod in there. Um, so well. vanilla's very good for your mood. So yeah. quite often I help these guys pack their vanilla, and after a day in there, I'm like, woo, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> and and apparently, smell and apparently it's an appetite suppressant. And oh. there is a company that have done like a. Um, you know, like a Vix inhaler, yeah. but it's vanilla. Oh, Vix inhaler. Just, like a Vix inhaler, so but it's vanilla. Like a Vixen, as in a saucy inhaler. <laughs> it gives you a bit of a sweet kick when you smell it. I wonder if that's why. Yeah. So, so you feel satisfied. A basic vinaigrette, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and two tablespoons of vinegar. So I really like this white one here because it's sweet. Well, you alcohol? Out, oh, you know? No alcohol. Well, no alcohol this I know. Week. Is there such a thing as Jamaican wine? Oh, I don't know. Absolutely ginger no wine. idea. Ginger, ginger beer. Ginger Why have we got any ginger, ginger beer? beer. Oh, oh, Mark should be oh, having ginger beer. Mate. Dina, am I getting this chicken out? Yeah, just cover it up. Yeah. Uh, two tablespoons of that lovely vinegar and three of uh, sunflower rapeseed oil. Okay. And then this is Betty's. Betty's has got no chilli on it. Betty will, Betty will kill us. So no jerk. So, <laughs> no so jerk. what I did was, if you if you want to make that, but you've got people that like chili and don't, just just mix it all up, get it out for the people that don't like chili, like I did for Betty, and then just add the chili and blitz it again. Right. So that rice is, I think it's done. Yeah, fifteen mm. minutes that was. Yum. Oh, that smells so look, good. Look oh yeah. Oh. oh, that smells amazing. So there we go. So that's just the start of it because you've got to have your mayonnaise and your salad cream. So, uh, do I want the onions? Yeah. So I'm actually, I am actually going to massage this. Because Are you? I am. I've wanted some massage action. No one's doing it. <laughs> Get on with it. Whilst you do that, I'll attend to the jerky. I'm on the jerk chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got there. You go. Oh, look, I'm also talking about jerky. Oh, look at that. Tits. Pets. Tits. <laughs> don't try and move them. Let them set a bit on the tray. Don't just leave. Don't them. need them. Leave them. Don't need. Can you fiddle with them? No. Right. When you're gonna toss a salad? Oh mate. I'm giving them to you. I'm handing yeah, them to you, you really today. Are. Toss them toss with your them. hands. Yeah, of course. <laughs> My ass is getting a little bit. Yeah. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. I'm getting you spiced up for the weekend. Ooh. Salad. When I was down, oh, no, no, I was your the friend. The algorithm's gone mad. It's going, we recognise something, I but sound we, too uh, we are in absolute agony. Can you wash that it. thingy for me? Yeah, what? The, the, the thingy. thing you've just whizzed the yeah, sauce yeah. in, because I'm going to eat it. Oh, nuts. there we go. And then there's half a red onion, and that's been soaking in water so you don't get onion breath. Well, which you don't want. Yeah. No. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. On your anniversary. Yeah, you don't want that. I don't know, ever have to worry about onion breath Aww. or garlic breath. Oh, you can eat as much onion as you want and <laughs> breathe like a dragon. I can, I can. It's great. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can't say I'm one on this one yet, but right. I'm willing to okay. get there. Right, okay, all right. So just you smell the vanilla, before. smell the vanilla. You love my, you love my. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, it's right, good. so while that is mar literally marinating, um, I am going to... Whoa! What? Is it hot? Have a little dip with your finger of that. There's it's no meat, nothing in it. it. Yeah. I was waiting for you to ask. Whoop. 
Don't do it. That's the marinade. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's lovely. It is, but... Wait, 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 wait. No! So in here I've got two right. tablespoons of um, vegan salad cream and um, four tablespoons of vegan mayo and a little bit of my ever so favourite, oh. Oatly. This is great for everything. Where's the rice? Behind you. It's dumb, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. We've got back to Nadia wandering around in the background looking totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I just, I just, I cannot tell you how much I put in there. You just want it nice and crispy. You want it a bit thinner. So I won't put that on until the end. I won't dress that to the very end because I want all of that marinade to get into the cabbage and break it down a bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. so very that's going on that. That's going on that. Oh. And Maddie would eat that whole bowl yes. if she could. Yes, and good for you. Yeah, well, the cabbage is. <laughs> <laughs> the vanilla is. The vanilla is good for your mood. Right. Now to your meandering, are you done? Yeah. Okay. So I am now. Oh, you've got to do the plantain. I am now going to make mac and cheese. Oh. Okay. Did you ever have mac and cheese? I did. Okay. I love mac and cheese. That's why I like it so much. I'm going to do vegan mac and cheese. Oh. So she's very I, excited about this. Okay. Mac and cheese. I'm very excited because there's a lovely young vegan chef called Amari McQueen. Oh. Follow him. He has been cooking on BBC for kids since he was about nine. But he is so creative with his recipes. And he's from Croydon. Oh, another Croydon cook. He's from Maybe Croydon. Maybe we should invite him on yeah. his best one day. And, oh yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah. And he's got um, a pop-up, there's a pop-up restaurant and box parking in Croydon where he, I presume he can't be cooking all the time. Because he, but he does all the recipes for it. Mm. Anyway, so he inspired me with this little recipe. So, what I'm going to do first, I am going to get my cashews. I don't know how to break the news to you, but I, I'm thinking of moonlighting. And? Is it, well, because there's the curvy cooks of Croydon, and they sound quite nice. The <laughs> <laughs> curvy They sound quite, quite fun. Right, so this is one, one and a half cups of cashew nuts um, from my favourite place. So this whole bag of cashews is 189, all right? And the bag of macaroni was 75 pence. Can you tell them where your favourite place is, not everyone knows. Oh, Lidl. Ah. Okay, so, um, Mark, do the math. Oh, Christ. 189 yeah. and 75. 189 and 75. 264. 264. And let's round it up. We're going to put some nutritional yeast in it and a little bit of uh, their cheese, their vegan cheese. So I'm going to surround it up to three pounds. Yeah. So three pounds divided by four. So 90, at me. I'm not going to 90 pence a portion. 90 pence divided a portion. Four. Yeah, because it's going to be... Three pounds. This is... 75p. 75p. Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> that's what I said. She's an art teacher. Right, right? yes. <laughs> 75p yeah. for a portion of really delicious and nutritious food. Um, Nadia, where is... Nadia seems to be tidying is... up. I know, what is going on? Where is the blender where, thing? What are you doing? Yeah, where's it for you? Oh, thanks, but where's the thing? I'll put it there. So, I'm going to put my soaked cashew nuts now. You should have soaked them for two hours. But yeah, I think you know what, you little... can speed up the soaking by popping it in the microwave for a bit. Oh, can you? This is also a way to make cheesecake cashew nuts. I made that once and I made the base is it the Hemsley Sisters or something I made there? Oh, them! I made a key lit lime yeah. cheesecake. Mm. The bottom was biscuits and dates. Yeah. And then you this was like tons enormous. of lime juice. Can you whiz that up for me? Um, tons of lime juice. And I can't remember what... Anyway, it was beautiful to look at. But God, it didn't half make me miss a key lime pie. <laughs> yeah. And it cost a fortune to what make. a key lime pie? To add, so we've got um, a cup of oat milk here, oatly milk. Add that to it. Get it in. Oh, pro cheese. Come on. She thinks snacks are coming. It's not the Sunday show. Ah. Snacks, not no snacks, no can no. Is that going in? Oh. Yeah. Fabulosity. Fabulous. It's just fabulous. Can you 
you send her for some singing lessons? Well, I could just send her away. Flipping <laughs> head. Send her away. Right. right, here we go. Oh, oh I forgot. What? I forgot to say. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say it in a minute. It's okay. Go, go, go. Go. Quick. Um, I needed another clove of garlic, but anyway. Oh, okay. You sure we haven't got one? Yeah. Oh, I can do you another clove of garlic. Yeah, do me another Any? clove of garlic while I chat. So, yes. lovely little Omari, when he cooks his macaroni... How do you spell it if people want to search O-M-A-R-I. Omari McQueen. Oh, when he cooks name. his macaroni, he puts um, thyme and fresh garlic and uh, butter vegan butter into oh, it when he when he's boiling it oh. so he puts thyme and garlic and it makes the pasta really flavorful as well wow um, so all right we've done that let's have a look at this what's it looking like is it looking like a cheese I sauce feel it looks nice <laughs> oh, oh yeah that is looking like a oh. cheese sauce oh i looked and great with my finger oh that looks lovely <laughs> <laughs> So, we love injury. We do. Yeah. Yeah, Me and Mark love yeah. it. Yeah. Right, I need to get a little bit of butter in there. Sorry. A oh, little yeah. bit of butter. Oh my God, she's it's breaking into song. What is wrong one. with you? Have you seen? Have you seen what Lurpak are doing? What? They're reducing the size of their block of butter. Well, and doubling the price? <laughs> no, not changing the price. Oh. Which is yes, doubling the price. Um, a little bit of butter, vegan, flora. A little bit of butter is on your side. A little bit of butter is in your side. A little bit of butter is in your side. Why, why are we so singy today? I don't know. What, are we celebrating something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 21 years of marriage, mate. I know, it's oh, crazy. It's oh, so maybe I should just have a rum. A rum? A rum, oh. rum, rum. Have it rum, orange and lime. And a bit of soda. That's weird. I mentioned 21 years of marriage. That'd we usually nice. went to drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to take that. Okay. So, to I start this, doing the planting. Uh, wait a minute. To this, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of turmeric, two teaspoons of onion powder, and two teaspoons of mustard, and nutritional yeast. Oh, for anybody that's new to the show, this is a vegan's must. Everybody must have it in their water, in their cupboard. Um, let's have... This gives a nutty, cheesy flavour. I'm going to have three tablespoons. Well, I think we should get Nanny Diamond to make her fish in a bag. Fish in a bag? Yeah. Oh, what did my friend Do say yesterday? they still sell that fish in a bag? I think so. Yeah. Do what did Wendy say yesterday that she cooked from scratch? I love people when they say they cooked it from scratch and all so. it means is they put it in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to remember, it will come back to me in a minute. Oh yes, I cooked it all from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> so I took funny. it out of the packet. Yeah, yeah literally. I, I pretended to Izzy when she was really young that I made the chicken dinosaur shapes. Oh! <laughs> she believed me, so that does really look like a cheesy sauce. Okay, Nadja, do you want to um, get on with your plantain while I just I cook this up? I was just looking for a rum cocktail. Oh. A rum cocktail? I've given it to you. Cuba Libra. Do you want to try the white rum from Lidl? Why don't you try the white rum? What do I put in it? Come on, should we make a cocktail together, guys? You think, Mark, tell her what to put in it. What would you have in it? Rum. Don't ask it. You we'll just have rum. We'll be in trouble. I soup it up with a bit of vodka. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah. yuck. Let's have a blue, let's have a what blue glass. Creamy stuff. Huh? Creamy stuff. Oh, like, like uh, pina colada, you mean? Yeah. No, I like fresh, dark and stormy. Dark. Ginger, ginger, oh. you need ginger. Oh, you need ginger beer. Ginger and rum. Yeah. Can't nice. get ginger beer for love or money. You can't get bounty bars, apparently, either. No, they're out of stock at bounty we, headquarters. We wanted to do deep fried bounty bars. I literally went in and I said, have you got any bounty? And he said, they're out of stock. I said, where? He said, at bounty. <laughs> Makes bounty. Round trees? It's just a big name called Bounty. <laughs> bounty. Bounty. Right, okay, so we've got ice. So this we've is, got... so don't forget, as Lee always says, the wider the surface yeah, area. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm going to have... James Cadillac, white rum. So you just, is it, are you sort of just improvising? Yeah, yeah just with, the, with you guys. We're just having a go, aren't we? So we've got rum. You don't... White rum, right. 
a squeeze of orange, a squeeze of lemon, a squeeze of lime, and ah, oh, how about a little bit of dark brown sugar? God, I'm having sugar there. Try not to have sugar. Let's let's try and do it That's without nice sugar. Good, isn't it? So some lime. Is this a Cuba Libra? I don't know. <laughs> I've got that coconut stuff that Lee brought. Where was oh, you put yeah. Should I put a little bit of coconut? You are really going pina colada in. Coconut gunk. Coconut gunk. Right, there's a my cheese sauce. Oh, oh, and see that turmeric's made it lovelier yeah. in yellow, so you're really in your brain, you're going to tell your brain is going to tell you. And I'm having a really good cheese here. Yes. Clever, isn't it? Yes. It's like Keston Blumenthal who does all that clever, you know, those yeah. clever things, and he did those. They were. They, he made them look like beautiful Victoria plums, right. but they were plums. Oh. Did you see the frog's plums. legs? Oh, no. They were plums. They were plums. They were plums. Oh. Yeah, they were sheep's testicles or something. Oh. So oh. in the, so God, don't make me gone a second. <laughs> the best of Blumenthal makes these foods oh. to trick the brain. So he made these beautiful Victoria plums that just looked shiny purple, like oh. lovely. And then people ate in it and they went, the brain was like, it's a plum, it's a plum, but it was a plum. A what plum. was it? A plum. A plum. A sheep's plum. <laughs> Did you see her? A plum. Yeah. Oh my oh. God, Tina. Oh. Right, I'm going to add a little bit more of this in there to get it a bit thinner. So I've got a little, just a dash of coconut cream. Lee, our cocktail extraordinaire, swears by that. Looks like, um, it looks like sun tanning lotion. Yeah, it's it got does. such weird branding, isn't it? I haven't got any soda, so I've Obviously put the tonic. Obviously, I have taste this, but I can't. I'll do it for you. And you think it. a bit of orange, Dina? Yeah. That's a lime, then. Let's try a bit of orange, too. Mm. So what's, what's the secret to 21 years now? It's just, I guess, ignoring. Well, I thought it was 20. Yeah. That's because you can't count. Because <laughs> you don't know how old your daughter is. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never think of it like that. Oh, you're having such a good time, Nads. Mm. Did you get a bit stirred? Nice. Did you put a little bit of brown sugar in it or not? Mm -mm. I put a little bit of that coconut in. That's quite nice, guys. Look at that gorgeous glass. Mm. I smell it. Have you ever had a real Caribbean? Mm. When I go to yeah, um, nice. my friend Dave's and they make a Caribbean punch. Oh my God, I had that once. It's so fabulous. Oh my God, it oh. was so, I can't remember who brought it, it into you swimming. It absolutely knocks you out. Oh, it was so good. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to put... I know who it was. It's Andrea. Andrea's dad makes the best rum punch mm. ever because she grew up in the West Indies. Oh, did she? Yeah, so he learnt it out then. It's delicious. Little vegan cheese. Okay, and that's it. That looks lovely. Mm. Oh, can I have some black pepper? I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a bit impatient for the planting. It's coming. Okay, it's coming. Yeah. Next. I look, can't wait for but what... But this looks fab. I can't see what you're going to... I can't wait to see what you're making for Nadia. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, no, because earlier he asked me for a can of condensed milk, which is over there. And that's oh. what he's asked me for. Oh. So there we go. So... Put the pan on. So like planting. Pepper. pepper. Planting, you can eat them at any stage, but the green ones make something different to this, this fried planting. So you want them yellow and a bit spotty, that's perfect. Just slice them down. This is happy memories. You, you love this I so love much, them. don't you? Now, you can, you can roast these in the oven as well. Um, some people put chilli and garlic. They but look, are you sure they're plantains? These plant... Mm. They look like they bananas. Look like no, they're plantains. Did you ask him for plantains? Yeah. No, they're plantains. You can tell by the thickness of the skin. Definitely plantain. Oh. Look, they just look slightly different. Um, right, we don't want too much oil because we don't want them like soggy, soggy. Too mushy. Just like a little bit like that. And when you cut them, you want them on the diagonal like that. So that you've got more surface area to caramelise. It's all about the surface area, isn't it, mm, Lee? This, this is too 
bloody smell this knife. Nice. I hate you haven't got me excited with your cutting skills. Mark, I never get you excited with anything I cook these That's days. That's true. It no. is. You're constantly saying, oh, I'm not excited about that. I'm not excited about that. <laughs> Do you want them thick like that or thinner? Thinner. Like that? Yes, please. Are you wounded? A little bit. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Um, you wounded. Okay. Mm. Okay. They're really nice and soft. I don't, you know those, they do plantain chips or crisps? Yeah. Mm. No. That, no, the, no. But those you need Not. the green plantain for, apparently, oh, no, no. I was reading. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, I was looking them up and apparently that's for pepper toss or something. Like that. It's so funny because I have plantain with Tony and I'd have banana and sugar white sandwiches with me now. Ha <laughs> ha! Lovely. Okay. So long, long yellow things were a thing in my staple in my day. Oh. Yeah. oh my gosh. I can't wait to eat that. What? My pasta. Me You've too. been dreaming about that all day, haven't you? I know. Well so done, there we go, Marie. let's get them going. Um, should we put those little bits in? Nice. Do you yeah, like Yeah, the little bits are nice. Okay, so am I doing the other one as well? I don't know. Ch chuck the vanilla stick in with it. Ooh. Mm. Oh, no, they're not supposed to be sweet, are they? No, because we've got no, because we've got vanilla in there. Right, so this you can stick in your caster sugar. Yeah, which I always do do. Uh, that is off the oven, isn't it? Okay, so we can leave these cooking while Mark does his recipe. Yes, yeah. we're going to need a bit of space. Okay. Oh, I'll give myself indigestion. I've got the pasta stuck there. Oh, <laughs> indigestion. Are you having a rum, Dina? Let me try yours. Okay. It's really nice. Don't knock yourself out. So I'm just going to try and make the pasta go down. <laughs> oh, I see swilling, swilling my cocktail. Trying to get the rum to push it down. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be drinking anything. I had a bank holiday. What did you drink yesterday? Tell us about your debauchery yesterday. So I started with Lidl's new um, sparkling. <laughs> Uh, I'd just like to ask Dina <laughs> one thing about her saying little. She does go to other supermarkets, you know. But she yeah. loves her little. Uh, sparkling pink wine, and then it was on to tequila, lime and soda. Oh. Wow. Till when? Ten o'clock. How many did, what time did you start? Two. Two. How did you feel when you got home? Merry. <laughs> just a tad. Did you wake up at three o'clock with the fear? No, I didn't. Hmm? What, I slept through. Bit? I slept through like a baby. Wow. Fear, fear. You know when you wake up at three o'clock in the morning just going, what have I done? What have I done to myself? I hate that fear. That's the thing that always stops me from drinking too much nowadays. I just, I just don't... It's that feeling. I hate it so much. Ha, what is it they call it? Um, what's, what do they call it, Mark, when you get the anxiety from booze? Oh, um, anxiety. Yeah, yeah, anxiety. Hangover oh. anxiety. It's horrible. So, yummy, yummy. Is that how you like them to look, Mark? Yeah. This is all about you, baby. Yeah. This is all about so you. So do they have to be soft or they al dente or...? No, they're cooked all the way through, but it's... it's and they... Think of a soggy halloumi. Ooh. That's how I like them. It's a bit grown, that one. Uh -huh. Betty will want oh, that Oh, yeah, one. but look at that. That'll be great. Oh, do you like it like that? A little bit like that. It's, it's okay. the caramelised... It's almost like a toffee apple. Which yeah, is oh, OK. But um, that's Whoa. funny how they're burning around the edge, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. That weird, bloody hexagonal thing. Yeah. Which we will buy posh pans. Um, I, I probably just had it too much over like that, to be honest. Would they, so when I've had them all slippery and sliding, will they have put them just in more oil or something? What, do you want them more slippery? Do you, are you trying to tell me you want more oil? Yeah. Okay. What, deep fried then? Almost. Maybe that's what they do. Maybe they deep yeah. fry them. Well, they, everywhere I looked it said don't put too much oil because you don't want them to be too soggy. But if you like them soggy, let's bring in the oil. Bring in the oil. I must admit, whenever we've got them from the Caribbean takeaway, they're always very dry, yes. aren't they? Like and is that why you don't like them? Yes. Okay. So fattier. It's like fresh on a plate. 
So, Mark, explain to people what they actually taste like for somebody that has um, never tried a plantain. Well, I mean, obviously, being a, sh a sweet head, it's it's the sweetness that but I they're like. not that, but they're nowhere near as sweet as a banana. No. Don't don't expect that it's going to taste like a banana. So what is it? It's a kind of it's it's like a. Uh, well, there's a sweet. See now it's the way a it's going. Sweet sort yeah. of green sort of flavour. Green taste. Green it's taste. a green taste. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's it's good to use a non-stick pan because that helps bring out the sugars. That's how we're getting that lovely mm. caramelisation now. And I think you're right. I think the sweetness is only in the caramelisation. Whereas yeah, but it's a if you were to just bite into that, it doesn't it taste be... like banana. Now I I've had this before with like fried. Crispy fried garlic and chilli on oh. the top of it. Delicious. Have you never had it, Dina? Never had oh, it. Oh, wow. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let me try it raw. Oh, no, I don't think you'll like it. Like no? no? Not like banana. It's harder, isn't it? So we're going to put these around the plate. So, there's a banana. I think it's a banana. It's not a banana. It's absolutely, it's got little black stones in it. It's not a banana. It's a plantain. No, that's too hot. That is, Stop that. eating it. I don't know. You've got to cook it. It's, it's definitely plantain. Yes, yeah, too. Try oh. a little cooked one. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Okay. Mm. Are you good for anything? Um, it must be. It must have potassium. It must be good for you. Fibre. Fibre. Very fibrous it will be. It's just ripe. Yeah. You don't want it any sweeter than that. Yeah. Um, again, Mark will be going all from memory, so nothing is going to taste yeah. as good as it did. So what did you say? The green ones are used for what? For the um, chips. Ah. Um, okay, so we're going to put these on, and then Mark's going to show us his super duper dish. Mm -hmm. Dina, where is the where are the um, where are the sweet corns? Because we're going to put everything on a platter. Are okay, they but they didn't cook, so oh. no, I boiled them first. Oh, okay, they didn't. Boil they were cooked it. through. Oh, look, that's getting there. That looks good. That one, that one there is okay, taking me gonna... back to 1976. Okay, that one. That one there has got 19. So you want them how it. they told me not to make them. You want them soft and sort of flobby. Oh, yeah, I think that might be. Well, I can put them back in. The other ones back oh, in the oil. That, everything about that is taking me back. Oxford Gardens, Labrick Grove, 76. Let's put them back in then. Yeah. You want them soggy. Oh. This would be great if there is somebody watching this now exactly <laughs> how to actually cook these. Oh, yes. You're probably screaming at me. Okay. It's so nice to try out other. Yeah. Um, yeah, these are all my friends. Other cuisines. They're all my friends. You know. <laughs> I used to hang out with people like it's this. So bizarre, isn't it? Because you know, Middle Eastern food, we're going to know everything about it. And that's what I love trying other cuisines. But there's just, a, you just don't have the feel for it because you don't know. You know, I used to get a bit scared when she said curry goat. Like, I wouldn't think about the goat. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Um, but, but did you nice. love it? Yeah, I did. It lovely. So I'm doing them a bit thinner now. Yes. Anyone's watching and know and is screaming at the screen, Daddy, we're supposed to do it like this. Please do tell us. We love it. We want to learn. And if there is any kind of um, food cuisine that you'd like us to have a go at, or that it's your speciality and you'd like to share with us, like a family recipe and give us a few clues on how to do it, wouldn't that be fun, wouldn't it, Tina? Yeah. So we like to share with you our you know, Arabic heritage, and vice versa. When are we announcing the person who's going to have us to come and cook? Oh. Well, we haven't bloody worked out how we're yeah, going to do the competition. See, it's the familiarity of the little pit. You don't seem to get them with an do you? Well, no, but I, do, I think that's the difference, yeah, isn't well, it, between yeah, planting and... Maybe. So you can see now oh. I'm just chucking them in. Yeah, yeah. Not overthinking. See, that's, that's very 70s. Okay. Oh, look here. So that's got now has got the salad cream, mm. mayonnaise, and cream on it. Mm. Oh, delicious. Yum yum. 
Maddie will be in heaven. Maddie will be oh, in nice. heaven. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tell me four. Okay, us. sing. Da, 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 so then are you ready? Da, 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 we are nearly there. Ha. Huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, my vegan mac and cheese is not going to look very nice because what? really you should eat it when it's hot huh? and it's been sitting in a pan. Where is it? Oh, it's in there. Is it all in there? Yeah. Um, Let's have a look. We can, do we oh, want to no. blast it in the microwave oh, for a minute? Green. You can see the green coming through. Well, well, maybe we'll do it when Mark's... Boom! Oh. Oh, yeah, you need to heat that up. Yeah. <laughs> I like the look of that. And you get a bit of crunch on the top when you serve it up. Oh. A bit of bacon. Oh. Because the family coming around to eat it. We could always do Mark's recipe next mm. week. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Is it? Yeah. So Mark, do you, how much space are you going to need? Would you be able to do I it? I could probably do it just here. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, the, the thingy you asked for is over there. Right. Uh, do you want to get your other ingredients? Okay, so... Stephen, why don't you film this while Mark gets his other ingredients? Film what? Me, you can film me. Oh, no, just no I just thought while you were setting yourself up. That's all right. What else do you need? Otherwise, I'm... Just... What else do you need? I need some... A uh, loaf, please. A loaf? A loaf of bread and a knife. A loaf of And a bread. teaspoon. Right. What else? For now, that's it. But there will be a moment where I'll need something quite urgently. Oh, look at this. Mm. Nice. Mm. Oh, look at that. There you go, guys. How nice does that look? Yeah, I'll have a tin over now. That'd be great. Thank you. We're all going for a bit of sweet and sour, salty and whatever. Mmm. Gotta have a bit of salt. Yeah, that's getting better. They're sweating out now. You want them a little bit sweaty, do you? Yeah, like oh, sweaty. okay. Yeah. Sweaty, in. Thank you. Okay, do you want to give me the camera? Yeah, here we go. So. Do you need a pan? What are you, one of Mark's what are you cooking in? I'll oh, show you. Oh, I'll tell you what, yeah, no, I'll have a, um, a plate. Please. Plate. Yeah, just a normal plate. So this is something that I used to literally stand at Tony's waist and just, I marvelled at the first time she did this. I thought, what is that creamy stuff? What is that magical, magical creamy stuff? And she just did this. She would, I mean, she was very, um, she was very brisk. So, you know, you'd say something and she'd, sort of go, she'd go, shut up and, you know, she would eat your food and all this kind of stuff. And so she would do this and then she would just do oh this. Oh, are you making a bread and butter pudding? So you just Caribbean uh, star Jamaica. We haven't got time to do bread and butter pudding, Mark. No, you've got a bit. You've got a bit flash there. And then Any she spices would, and or then anything? She'd fold it over like that. <laughs> Is that it? It shut me up, good and proper. <laughs> I was an irritating little shit. Oh my god! And she would do that, and she'd look at me, and I'd be like, "She would. Do you want another one?" <laughs> oh my god! Oh Please my comment god. below if you. Do you remember? Anyone? If you two were given this as a child, it's... Mark, stop! Try it. Stop! You have to try it. No. Mm -hmm. oh. It's the most wonderful thing. I can't stand thing. condensed milk. Oh. Try it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Is it fudgy? Mm. Is that Mark, stop! Stop! <laughs> That's going to give you a, some kind of a heart attack. Oh, <laughs> literally takes oh, it's you horrible. Back. I love it. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, that's it. it. Oh, All my right. goodness. We need now to Why plate up. Why don't we a planting sandwich with this? No. Oh, oh try it, try it. Yeah, no, no, we don't. No. no, we need this mark for the dish and for everybody coming around. There's not enough. Oh, there you're, is no. Some. No. You made them Absolutely not. I want not. to use my serving. You my are way. not. Okay, well, once we've plated everything up, you can, but it's going to look mean on the plate. We need it for the team. We need it for the brand. Oh, my God. I'm going to put some more of this on. Okay, I'm still filming. You don't worry. I'm just going to flip it. Can I, can I just have four? Just give huh? us four. Give no, us, no. No, just four. No, Mark. 
No. Once we've done it, you can when we put the dish out. What People are coming round, there's going to be not enough plants and you're going to put it all in a seed sandwich. No. You're going to put four pieces. No, oh, Mark. You're going to show the sauce. No. They can imagine four slices of planting in that. No. You've already had one slice of bread of that and you'll be moaning to me all night about your acidity. <laughs> and you'll be like, regret, why did I have two slices of bread? You've got it there, Johnny. Regret? I've had a few. I'm just, uh, if you wonder what the hell I'm doing with the corn, it's gone a bit fizzled and a bit dry and a bit miserable. And we want to have this beautiful platter of this gorgeous food. Oh. Stop it! No! Go away! He's awful! He's trying to steal the bloody plants in! <laughs> so annoying! Put that away. Do we need to do this? No, I'm not going to the door. He wants to plant it. Yes, there's someone at the door. No, there is. It is. It's after the bar. Told ya. Hi, Finn. We're just finishing off. Right, okay, so let's get the platter out. Let's get it served up. Mark, did you go and get the platter from there for me, darling? The big plate. Oh, Dina, can you get it? Okay. Um, I can't put this down because he'll, he'll throw it around the room. I won't. No, no. I won't. No. Which won't. is the platter you want? I know you're from old. You're going to start showing off and throwing the planting around. Right. Which platter do you want? Just in there, the chicken. There's a chicken. Mm. There's a chicken. Oh, there. The planting. I don't think it's hot, hot. Oh, this. It's just staying warm. Oh. It's because you've done this sort of thing to me so many times. Oh. Where you've just taken stuff and thrown it. I have thrown it? Yeah, you've thrown it. I'm things. not going to add that's hot. Don't drop it. Are you ready? Mark! No! no I, oh my god, it's boiling hot. Oh, right, okay. That looks nice, Dina. Mark, yeah. can you go and get the other chicken? Because of course I can't what? leave it. I can't, I'm filming and. Well, good. Could you text Betty and say they can come over? Oh, okay, darling. Or maybe walk over with them. So there's the wings. Oh, Thank thanks, you. sweetheart. They look good. They're the breasts. I know that. I know biology. Oh, I need the other one. Oh, subs. They got a bit too oh, steamy in there, Dina. Ah, shit. Right, don't do what I've done there. I've done it too tight, the foil, and then I've put it in the oven, and what's happened is it's all gone soggy. It's taken the crisp out, but it will be delicious and juicy. Oh, look, can I, am I allowed to show the mac and cheese? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, guys, that looks nice. With no cheese in it. That's clever. Look at all that. And rice and pea. Yeah. Coleslaw. So good for you. All Jerk. Of it's so good for you. Oh, Stay there. I'm staying here. Where's my bread? Gone. 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 Mate. Gone. Gone. <laughs> oh, you're using them like petals, babe. They're like planting petals. This makes me happy. Good. Food makes me happy when it takes me back to yeah. funny times. Nostalgia. Songs. Strange old funny times. Perhaps we need to do just the whole 70s one. Yes. That would be cool, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
Because I remember, I can't remember what the, t it was, what was the uh, sauce that would have been with the fish in a bag? It was... Oh, cotton and parsley? Yes! We used to love that, didn't we, Tim? Parsley yeah. sauce. Makes me feel very nice. Right, Mark, can you move these out of the way, Tom? Of course. Thank Guys, you. absolutely sensational. Da -da -da -da. Absolutely brilliant. Always use King's Right, that is... Oh, look! Look at that! That is a Caribbean feast, and we have, if you touch that plant in, yeah. right, you won't make it to 22 years. Just telling you that. Oh, that's a warning! I've got a funny feeling I'm not going to make it to 21, because that's basically pre-recorded and it's on Friday. <laughs> Stop it! You're going to ruin it for everybody else because it's not even like you would just take one, you take all of them, you throw them around. What's this idea that I threw them? Because you do throw them. Like, when I have nice shower. tomatoes, you throw them. Put your nose in Right, need a runway run. Okay, yeah, we runway do. Runway run, and then at the end, I'm going to find you both, and you're going to, I don't know. On your marks, get set, go. So we're flying in. What are we doing? Flying in. Yeah. Uh, where are you going? Get back. Where's she, where's she gone? I'm dancing by myself today. I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>